it might be an audio effect, it might be a visual effect. You have to do something in your video to change it up. Maybe you wanna change the angle a little bit. Maybe you just wanna change the angle, be in a different location. This all adds up for an interesting video. And an example of this would be a very slow keyframed zoom in. So you could just zoom in from 100% to 110%. Over four seconds, we've got this subtle digital push in, and that's gonna make your shot more dynamic and more interesting. I think a lot of times editing is problem solving. Even with visual effects, it's to figure out what tools can I use to produce this effect. Of course, you're gonna run into road bumps and you're not gonna figure it out right away. But then once you do figure it out, it's like this aha moment and it's like, you're the best problem solver ever and you just can't wait to share that new tool with people. And that is what drives me to create on my own YouTube channel. Content creators have just a few seconds to grab their audience's attention and keep it. So the opening of your video needs to really pack a punch. The best way to do that is by adding motion effects to your titles, using images, text, and motion. You don't need a big budget to do it, even though more and more Hollywood studios are wowing audiences with Adobe software. All you really need is a little imagination it's never been easier to take your social media video from this to this. The video effects available to content creators today really are out of this world. And with more effects being created all the time, if you can think it, chances are you can achieve it. So how are you going to hook your audience in? By fading in text with lower thirds? Using motion effects to scale an image from large to small? image effects to transition from one image to another. Now that's a winner. Let's hear from creators like you. Effects keep your video engaging because they allow us to go past our limitations. We can put ourselves in different locations with just a simple green screen and some effects. So those are the tools that we can use to tell a better story. If you think about it, we're watching Netflix and all these shows and there's all these quick cuts and we're constantly seeing new things and that is allowing our brain to continue processing information and stay engaged, stay curious, stay focused. And so by leveraging all of the cool transitions, cuts, and different effects within Premiere is just a great way to keep your audience focused, to keep that dopamine hit in your audience rolling as they're watching your content. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.